A recent public survey of 3,000 people in the UK found strong support for Birmingham Airport over a proposed third runway at Heathrow, with only one in four people agreeing with the expansion. Furthermore, the survey indicated that two-thirds of people thought demand should be met without building new runways or airports, and half of Londoners said they would consider flying from Birmingham when a high-speed rail link is created. A great endorsement of Birmingham, as CEO Paul Keogh explains. We took stock of our local market, tried to find out what makes people want to fly in and out of Birmingham. So we did a national survey for 3,000 people and got their views, and the results were quite surprising. Most of the people came back and said they would travel to Birmingham if the infrastructure was in place and that Birmingham was a good airport. The other thing they said to us was they're not interested in Boris Island. So if you are thinking of spending £30 billion, pounds, think of spending £30 billion pounds elsewhere other than in the estuary of the Thames. And we've said before, Birmingham has that spare capacity. It could take another 9 million passengers tomorrow, and we're just looking for that to be utilised. Well, our current plans, with the development uh, that we're proposing, will take us to 18 million passengers. But also beyond that, we've got capacity, theoretically, up to 30 million passengers using the existing airport site. So we're well placed for any future growth. And obviously with high-speed rail, it would slash journey times between London and Birmingham, which I guess strengthens our case even more. Well, high-speed rail just changes the whole dynamic. And what is really interesting, we've been told that high-speed rail may well reduce the journey time to well under 40 minutes, and perhaps even 30 minutes door-to-door. -door. It's a tough time for the industry. I think everyone's come out and said that. But Birmingham, looking to the future, looking at the bigger picture? OK, it's going to be a very tough year, 2010. 2009 was tough, 2010 equally as tough. We've seen a reduction in traffic of 5% this year last year. However, the growth I'm sure will come back in 2011. What we need to do now is make sure that we're well placed to match that growth when it comes back.